face front true believers this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox and this is going to be 10 of my favorite MCU universe movies now a couple of quickies here beforehand talk of the movies not any of the TV series totally different thing um, also I I will say I haven't seen three of them I haven't seen Wakanda forever I haven't seen Morbius and I haven't seen Eternals but I believe I've seen pretty much everything else um, so there you go also this is my opinion I get asked this a lot since I as, as some of you know at least I used to work for Marvel in the 80s and 90s as a colorist a lot of fun with that by the way um, check out my credits uh, outside of this stuff I ghosted I ghosted a lot of stuff too for other people uh, anyway let's not waste any more time so number one and these are in no order okay just so you know uh, the Punisher with Thomas Jane from 2004 uh, I felt this works as its own thing it doesn't even it doesn't need to be a Marvel movie it's a it's a revenge movie basically um, I felt Thomas Jane really hit the right notes as the character it just felt good were there imperfections sure there's imperfect imperfections in every one of these movies uh, I you're never gonna find perfection it's never going to be exactly the character that was in your mind that you read in the comic books so just just let's start with that but really enjoyed this movie watched it many times so that's number one the Punisher number two the first Thor movie Thor of uh, loved how much the destroyer looked like the Kirby the Jack Kirby destroyer uh, felt Chris Hemsworth really gave a spot-on Thor nice kind of feel to him which he's had in all the movies um, but uh, not quite as jokey as later on you know what I mean really strong performances from everyone Kenneth Branagh's direction is just brilliant you know it's wonderful so that's number two Thor uh, number three is the 2004 Spider-Man 2 I think that's the best of the lot of all the Spider-Man films. Uh, Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus was just great. He was more than a one-note thing. Kirsten Dunst is the the finest film Mary Jane to date. Uh, no one else has held a candle. They still all are missing the kind of assurance that the original hello there you know hello tiger Mary Jane uh, had so but still I loved her Mary Jane no one else has held a candle to it and um, nice action nice resolution um, Raimi did a really good job on this it's the best of his Spidey films Spider-Man 2 which is number three on my list number four is the second X-Men movie X2 uh, with Alan Cumming as Nightcrawler uh, it made more sense than the first one which was it was nice to see people by the way, let's fix one thing in the first film or Storm's dialogue where she's fighting the toad and he's gonna be she's gonna hit him with lightning and she says do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning they missed the perfect line which is he croaks there you go thank you you're welcome but X2 is the best of the lot um, Mystique is quite good in there and, and the feel is good it's all about feel for me uh, the first movie totally missed the point Magneto doesn't want more people like him just that's totally out of character but um, that to me was was the best of those really enjoy that film uh, speaking of X-Men and, and that was number four number five is 
the Days of Future Past from that the the second run of X-Men films uh, and preferably the one that's called the Rogue Cut which has Rogue put back in it as she should be um, a nice balance of the new and old cast um, still not quite what the comic book story was but it was pretty good I, I, I really f had a nice feel to it it, it uh, moved well and uh, I really enjoyed that and that's why that is number five. And remember, these are in no order of preference. It's pretty random. I just wrote them down before I set this up. So, number six, Avengers Age of Ultron. Yes, there's problems. I know, Leanna, I'm not too fond of some of Joss Whedon's uh, dialogue, especially that whole Tony Stark Prima Nocta thing, which is just stupid and uh, kind of beneath the character, if you will. But... Um, one of my nephews doesn't like this movie because it says it's just a bunch of people fighting a robot. And that's exactly what I like about it. It's not uh, a universal, you know, the Avengers save the universe and all life everywhere. They're fighting a, a robot that's gone crazy that wants to hurt the world. So that to me, I, I like that. I really felt that this um, rightly showcased why Hawkeye is one of the Avengers, that he's more than a guy with a bow and arrow. Um, and a lot of props to Jeremy Renner for his his great performance and all the performances as Hawkeye. He's just he's just a really fine actor. So that's number six. Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Number seven, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Now, none of the Cap movies have sucked. I will tell you that right right out. But this, to me, is the best of them. It's got that nice S.H.I.E.L.D. Hydra, Hydra storyline. And it shows you Cap acting in ways that make sense for Captain America. Um... Chris Evans' performance, great. Love uh, the Black Widow in here, too. Stellar. Just so much goodness about that. That's number seven, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Number eight is the first Doctor Strange movie. I have issues with bits of it. As I said, with all of these, there's bits, you know. Uh, in this, I don't understand whoever wrote the line that the Ancient One is Celtic. Uh, no. But that, is, that aside, and I, I thought that the special effects on Dormammu could have looked a little less like a special effect, but that's just me. The story worked. He, Cumberbatch did a fine job as, as Strange. It felt right. I... I, I you know, I wasn't put off. The only off-putting things for me outside of Celtic is, did we really need to have, like, um, of-the-moment references musically with Wong and such? I could live without that. But everything else was fine. I had no problem with it. And that's number eight, Doctor Strange. Number nine is the first Black Panther movie. Um... Uh, Again, I thought it worked well. It felt, you know, I remember when I first read Panther had to be either the the Fantastic Four appearance or more likely the Avengers appearances in the late 60s, which is when I really started reading comics. And it felt a lot like that Black Panther. It just, he seemed very Panther-like. You know, as far as the character goes, it's very. I was like, yeah, I buy that. That's. It had the nobility, had the aggression, the ability outside of the nobility and ability. Very well-rounded character. Um, very interesting story. I still would prefer Claw to be a little more claw-like. Um, that's a that's a minor thing. That was a choice, and I'm fine with that. And that's uh, number nine. Um, 
Black Panther. And number 10 is the Captain Marvel movie. Yeah, yeah, get over it. Okay, is it Marvel? The death of Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel? No, but um, for those that complain, you obviously don't read the comics. There have been many Captain Marvels. And Carol Danvers, who was originally Ms. Marvel, I remember picking up the very first issue. You know, it felt good. Jan Rog was in there from, you know, going back to the 60s. Uh, the Supreme Intelligence was there. There was a lot of stuff. I, I liked the, the Kree Scroll stuff. It's been an interesting thing that they have made um, the Scrolls really not the villains they were in the comic books. But I guess they had to have, you couldn't have villains and villains because the Kree and the Scroll both. I suppose you could, but the choice to have the scrolls be sort of outcasts and that that's interesting and I'm, I'm fine with it i thought larson brie larson was fine as captain marvel i hope we see more of her and that's my 10 but before i go a couple of honorable blah, blah, honorable mentions um fantastic four is it rise of the silver surfer whatever it is of the silver surfer the silver surfer fantastic four movie uh, they still haven't gotten Dr. Doom right, but I thought they got the surfer pretty right, you know. And uh, it was interesting how they um, handled Galactus. Um, so that's an honorable mention. The Black Widow movie, which is much better than people give it credit for. I enjoyed that one. Ragnarok for its hokey elements and, uh, you know, just the handling of a few things within that. I was like, eh. Uh, worked otherwise and an overlooked thing not a theatrical movie but a TV movie was the uh, kind of cheesy Nick Fury movie with David Hasselhoff but you know it was pretty darned accurate really when you get down to it and I have no problem with that film and also the two different iterations of the Hulk movies um, for their flaws they still were pretty darn entertaining so but anyway that's my 10 picks for my favorite uh, MCU Marvel Comics Universe films thanks for joining me feel free to give me horrible trolley comments below love you all bye bye excelsior